My name is Daniel. I'm the, own, I'm the owner of the Chinese tea shop in Vancouver, Chinatown. And uh, today I'm going to uh, introduce about Chinese traditional Kung Fu Cha. So to have our traditional Chinese Kung Fu Cha, we have some tea wares need to use. And here, this is the Yixing teapot. Yixing teapot has very good porous function and that would make the tea taste better and smoother. And then we use the small drinking cups, right? The pitchers. Sometimes we use the stringer. The first step, we have to warm up the teapot. That we make sure that we, when we make tea, then the temperature of water should be accurate. Put some hot water over the pot. Wait a second, and then we're gonna pull to the pitcher. That we also warm up the pitcher. Now, and also we're gonna warm up the teacups. All right. Now the teapot is warm. Then we can start to put tea leaves. Depending on the shape of the tea leaves and the size of tea leaves, we normally put about one third to one fifth of the teapot. This is the Dragon Phoenix tea that the leaves will be bigger. So I will put about half of the teapot. Alright. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna pour hot water to the teapot. Then many people will ask, what's the temperature of the water? And, and that depends on the, the tea leaves. If this is green tea, then we normally put pool hot water about 75 to 80 degrees. Maximum is 85. For most oolong teas, we put hot water from 90 to boiling. Now I'm using 95 degrees for this oolong tea. 95 degrees for yeah. the oolong tea. And then pull hot water, pull the hot the tea to the pitcher right away, and then we call this rinsing. We don't drink for this time. Don't drink the rinse. Yeah, and it is very important to shake a little bit, make sure the last few drops come out from the teapot. That would make the tea always taste smooth and fresh. Put the rinsing tea to the cups for warming. And then we put hot water to the pot again. So remember, take the kettle a little bit higher and give some more oxygen to the teapot, to the tea. And that will make the tea taste smoother. And then put the rinse into all over the teapot to season it. If we keep doing that every time we season our teapot, then it will create a patina for the teapot. And the teapot will make a better taste of tea. Because this oolong tea that we don't need to steep very long, right? So I'm going to steep about six seconds for the first spoon. Then it should have enough taste. I'll just shake a little bit. So now I'm going to pour the first spoon to the drinking cup. It is very important in a manner for Chinese people that when people make tea for the guests or for friends, then the guests or friends have to wait until we, we say yum cha. Then people can take the cup, smell it first, and then they can slurp the tea or sip it. So 
finished the first uh, first uh, brew of tea, tea tasting, then we can go to the second brew. For the second brew, I would also put hot water to the teapot. Put hot water over it to keep the consistency of the heat. And then I can put some other teas on it. And also this is for seasoning the teapot. And this time I will decrease to 5 seconds right, and then pour the tea to the pitch and remember when we do pouring tea to the pitcher then we just lower no more shaking because yeah and then shake a little bit because lower that will keep the most fragrance of the tea mm -hmm. because we don't want to lose it right? and also very important shake a little bit and then pour to the drinking cup. Again, I would say, please, yum cha. Yum cha in English means, please drink tea. So this way to invite people to enjoy our tea. A good Chinese tea, we can make at least seven brews. And if you have good skill, then you can refill hot water up to 12 brews, right? And uh, uh, after the third brew of th four brews, usually we will increase the steeping time to keep the best taste. Now, now you know the basic knowledge and skills about Chinese Kung Fu Cha. And you can start to make your Kung Fu Cha and enjoy the Chinese tea. And also, very important is to practice a lot. In my store, we have uh, tea lessons for people who are interested about Chinese tea or they want to advance to have an advanced level. Please come to my shop and enjoy the tea. Gong Hei Fa Choi.